Hello everyone, I'm Gabriel and this is the Rise and Antis Show. Um, it's been a while since I've uh, put out a video. It's because uh, I've been busy doing a lot of things, trying to get everything organized, saving up some money and stuff. <clears throat> um, mainly saving up money to, um, to start getting the uh, marketing going again. Um, <clears throat> I had to buy so much other things, that's what kind of... Uh, complicated things got in the way <clears throat> you know and um, so it kind of got in the way but now I'm back I wish I could be uploading every day but um, I really don't have um, enough um, marketing money uh, yet um, so um, it's around going to be I'd say every other three four days hopefully I could get it going every other two days soon um, and when I'm, um, you know, I have way more money, I could be uh, posting every single day. So <clears throat> it's a numbers game, you know, and um, <clears throat> it costs uh, money to um, to to uh, advertise, basically. Um, <clears throat> so um, <clears throat> trying to save up money here and there, you know. Um, it gets hectic, you know? There's always stuff we have to buy. <coughs> and I hate that. <coughs> That's why we can never save. Because we're always having to spend on whether it be investments or day-to-day -day getting by. And I hate it. <coughs> I wish it wasn't like that, but... That's the way the world is. So now we'll go ahead and get into the first story. Uh, oh yeah, also, I forgot to mention the topic of the day. Topic of the day is 9-11 uh, um, that just passed. Uh, today is uh, September 17th. So um, on 9-11, there was, uh, I'm not sure if you heard about it, but there was uh, a bald eagle had landed on, this is a fascinating story. A bald eagle had landed on um, the fire truck. I thought my alarm was going off. This weird. Was it the song? A fire, uh, uh, a bald eagle landed on a fire truck uh, ladder, like a very high, because two fire trucks were holding a giant um, flag in the sky over a bridge. <coughs> this was the same day as the 9/11 ceremony, and a bald eagle magically landed on it <coughs> and was chilling there, I think for around five ten minutes and flew off. So it's very fascinating because. Um, not only is it, you know, a bald eagle, the symbol of America, but it landed on, um, it landed on the, the tower, not the tower, uh, it landed on, um, the ladder on the fire truck. Um, so it's, I really believe it was a sign from God. You know, these haters say it's coincidence. Really, if it's coincidence, how come it's the first time it happened? You know, um, and especially on 9-11, during the ceremony, during um, the ceremony to um, uh, remember the, the victims of 9-11, how strange is it that at that exact same time, you know, all, people say, oh, the ceremony lasted all day and all this. And I don't know. You know, skeptics are always going to never want to believe, you know, but these are signs from God. And if the atheists want to keep pushing God away, well, they're going to get a rude awakening. Um, so the first story is... A 747 airplane from Burning Man is still sitting in Black Rock Desert. BLM says, get it out. Is that Black Lives Matter? No. What does BLM mean? That's weird. Because it says BLM says, get it out. That's Black Lives Matter, right? Does it stand for something else? This is in Burning Man. A 747 airplane is still sitting in the desert. That supposedly, I guess, they're going to, um, it was an art display. <clears throat> and they never moved it. An actual real airplane. A real airplane in the desert. A Burning Man. And was supposed to be removed last year, and it's still there. And <laughs> it's a funny story. Um, it's 
probably costing Burning Man or who is probably costing someone a lot of money. Is it taxpayers? I don't know. This is weird. Uh, it's not saying what BLM stands for here. I, I'm almost certain it's not Bla Black Lives Matter. Um, this is weird. Who should tell me what BLM stands for here? Um, let's see here. Two weeks after the event. Okay, so it's not a year ago. It's only been there for two weeks. Supposedly, and it's a real running airplane, I guess, yeah, they could be putting it to use. And it's just wasted money for the company. <laughs> this is weird stuff, man, I'm telling you. Could be a sign. Um, did not see what BLM stands for. Uh, 80,000 people gather every year in the, in the temporary encampment called Black Rock City for Burning Man. I never knew it was in Black Rock City. How weird is that? Burning Man? It sounds like they're glorifying souls burning in hell. I don't know. I'm not saying for certain. <clears throat> it could also be taken the other way, you know? Um, um, you know, you... Uh, <clears throat> how should I say it? Um, in support of God's wrath upon evil. You know, because um, evil people uh, do not have the right to be in heaven. You know, unless they repent, they're going to have to do some serious repenting. You know, so um, <clears throat> it makes me wonder, Burning Man, what is it? Is it glorifying souls burning in hell? Or is it um, in full support of God's wrath upon the evil? It could be taken both ways. But then you heard of a recent story, was it last year someone ran into a fire? Weird stuff, man. I'm telling you. So, <clears throat> <coughs> it seems the concept Burning Man can be taken either way. I hope more Christians go there and start um, displaying, like, not just like signs, but like, um, um, kind of like, like, not really protesting, demonstrating is the word. Where you demonstrate, and it's not really a protest, but you're like, um, how should I say it? Uh, promoting one, the rapture, and uh, and um, repentance, you know. And so, uh, hopefully, Christians can go there and create a a concept of for God, and try to um, bring the rest of the crowd in, you know. So hopefully, the Christians can change Burning Man around into something spiritual, something religious. Um, I know you're always going to have weird bands and DJs that are always going to try to um, <coughs> <coughs> try to do their own things, like play like uh, horrible music. And I'm not talking about horrible sound. I'm talking about like evil music, you know. Uh, uh, very immoral, you know. I mean, I'm talking about the most immoral as it gets, you know. Uh, you know, and it could be... And a lot of uh, satanic stuff is starting to come out. Not just in rap music, but everywhere. And, I mean, it's been there in heavy metal for so long. You know, but now it's getting to the point where it's really getting bad. All genres. You know, so... Um, I don't know what the time here, okay, 10 minutes, let's go ahead and speed it up, okay, so I only have 10 new stories, so it's not that much, okay, so it's not saying what BLM stands for, I hate that when they don't, oh, no, that's not it. something else, so basically they're just saying this, this airplane is like, um, I don't know, wasted um, profit for the airline company? Very strange stuff. Okay. It's weird, this airplane is like incomplete in the back. You see that? I don't know, that's very strange. Very strange indeed. Okay, next one. 
So uh, hopefully Christians can uh, <clears throat> establish a, a rapture theme in Burning Man. I hope to see that. Uh, Paul Manafort pleads guilty, will cooperate with special counsel. You know, we're all tired of hearing the Manafort thing over and over. It's like, it's really dulled down the news. It really, it really has. Next story, thank you, God. A uh, golden buzzer worship pastor says heading to f finals on America's Got Talent next week. This is what he looks like. Uh, bless him. He's a pastor. So he's probably like a preacher also. Which is cool. We need, uh, we really need more, um, <clears throat> religious music, Christian music. And it doesn't have to be like every song nonstop about Jesus and all. Um, <clears throat> you can have songs that's just like all about party and stuff, you know? Doesn't make it worldly. <clears throat> uh, what makes it worldly is when you start bringing all the all the immorality into it, you know. So, ain't nothing wrong in having a bunch of songs that just like all like talking about partying and stuff. Cause we're gonna be partying in heaven, you know. Um, not stop, man. Heaven's gonna be the the best party ever, I'm telling you. So, um, let's see. His name is Michael Ketterer. That's a hard name to spell. Ketterer. Okay. Uh, let's see. Here. He's a favorite among the show's Christian audience base, Faith Family, America reported. Okay. Now then again, just because you try to get uh, votes from, from people and Christians over other people, you know, it shouldn't be like that. It should be very even, even base. You, 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 uh, they shouldn't allow people to um, <clears throat> use God just to get votes, you know, so it needs to be fair, that's the way I see it. Um, let's see here. Hmm. Have you ever heard of a shofar? Do you know what a shofar is? Uh, I believe it's um, from a ram's horn. And uh, I'm not sure if it's from other animals, but uh, it started um, with the Jewish people, I think. It might have started uh, earlier roots, maybe based in Africa or, or England or somewhere like that. I'm not exactly certain on the history of the shofar, but I'm almost certain a lot of people use a ram's horn or a bull's horn, I'm not sure. Um, and they blow into it like a trumpet, you know? <coughs> Now people say, I've heard people ask uh, sometime when they say, well, why do they use a ram's horn or a bull's horn? Why do they use like a, like a, the the devil, uh, the devil's image? Um, well, the way I see it is, um, you're basically <laughs> you're gonna get a kick out of this one. You're basically breaking out the horns of the devil, you know, and you're like sounding into it, um, proclaiming Jesus' return, you know, so. Basically making fun of the devil. So, I mean, that's pretty much the way I uh, interpret it. I think that's why the reason they use that. Um, so when people say, oh, you're using the devil's image to to have the trumpet sound. Um, well, yeah, because you're making fun of the devil. So if it's done like that, you know, um, there's nothing wrong with it. Because we are all proclaiming Jesus here. You know, so... I remember when, you know, and I actually thought of that, um, of that, uh, what's, what's the word? I've actually thought of that, um, man, I get a loss of words sometimes. I've thought of that, um, definition. Is that the word? Um, no, definition. I guess. Um, I've thought of that definition, like, why would they use a ram's horn or a bull's horn? It's to make fun of the devil, you know, so... I haven't heard anyone else think of that, you know, so I, I think about stuff uh, a whole lot of people don't. Next story is North Korea dictator um, sets a denuclearization timeline, Kim Jong-un. So he's not really that much of a dictator. Now, yeah, he did do uh, atrocities. Of the Korean Peninsula take place before President Donald 
I hate it when, you know, when the videos play by themselves. I didn't even press play and it's already playing. I hate that, you know? It's something like that a lot of time on Facebook. You're scrolling and it plays it loud. Um, what I wish they would do is just have it where you have to press it to play it. So I, I, I hope Facebook changes that. Um, but even um, a lot of websites are like, you know, automatically playing videos, you know. Um, <clears throat> it should be where you press it and it plays it. So like I was saying, uh, uh, Kim Jong-un, he's not really that bad of a dictator now. I mean, yeah, he did do atrocities. He did kill some of his generals and this and that. And people say, oh, it's just rumors and not confirmed. But, I mean, I really don't know. Um, <clears throat> goes both ways, you know. Um, I thought the weirdest one was when those two girls killed um, Kim Jong Un's half brother or something like that. Remember that in Malaysia, and they like stuck a needle in his neck and it ran off. It's weird stuff, man. And you know, um, so yeah, Kim Jong Un is not um, not just perfect. Uh, he's not a good guy, no way. But at least he, he's trying to change, so we got to give Kim Jong-un um, credit for that at least. It, we are seeing signs that he's repenting, which is good. Um, <clears throat> and um, hopefully we could avoid a war, because we don't have to have World War III for Jesus to return. I used to see it like, oh yeah, let's get it on, you know, let's, let's start World War III so Jesus could return. But now I see it like... <laughs> No, that's that's taking a radical approach. You know, we don't have to uh, we don't have to start World War Three to bring Jesus return. Because what if um, a nuclear war extends out and Jesus returns uh, at a certain time in that war? What is what if it's not right at the beginning of it as most of us think it would? What if it's in the middle or at the end? So I don't want to take that chance. You know, so the way I see it is. World War Three does not have to happen for Jesus' return. So, um, people that that say, "Oh yeah, let's start World War Three to bring Jesus' return," let's convince them that that's that's not the best way. You know, I mean, yes, it really could bring Jesus' return like in a flash, but at the same time, um, we, we could do better ways. We don't have to have World War Three for Jesus' return. Is my is my opinion. I really believe it's my belief, man. And we do not have to have World War Three for Jesus to return. I mean, it's bad enough as it is. The crime, the poverty, the greed, the immorality. You know, it's just overflowing. It's overfloweth, man. More, uh, worse than the times of Sodom and Gomorrah. You know, and you know this world, um, the way it is now, makes Sodom and Gomorrah look uh, tame. You know, this world is really in bad shape. You know, and uh, let us just hope and pray that Jesus returns, you know, to to fix it all. Amen. So, <clears throat> he's setting a denuclearization timeline. So, that's good. Uh, so, we got to get Kim Jong-un credit for that, at least. You know, let us pray for him. Let us pray that he repents, you know, and... He can be forgiven. Now, Bin Laden, I don't know, man. He has a real hard chance of getting into heaven. Just like Hitler and and the worst of them, you know? They're going to have a real hard time trying to get in, man. They could be doing all the repenting in the world, but the things they have done seem almost unforgivable. Unforgivable, so, you know. <clears throat> I'll leave that with God, man. You know, uh... Next story, has China's most famous actress been, has, what, 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 they're spelling this wrong. Has China's most famous actress been disappeared by the, oh, okay, I see. Been disappeared by the Communist Party. See, first I thought I was saying, has China's most famous actress been disappeared? And I'm like, that doesn't make sense. But when it says by the Communist Party, okay, that makes sense. So, the Communists... Did the dictators in China kill a famous actress in China? Her name. Uh, uh, this is her to the to the right. That is her. Um, and what is her name? 
San Bing Bing. San, you know, wow, that, that's her real name. I like how, you know, they're like a, a fun, interesting names. And fan, F-A-N. That's pretty cool. And then Bing Bing. B-I-N-G, B-I-N-G. You know, it's a very unique name. It's sad that she was killed. She came in the, uh, in the movie X-Men franchises. She's come out in some Western movies also. American movies. Man, she was one of the biggest uh, actresses, celebrities in China. And <clears throat> from what it sees uh, here is she's been very uh, outspoken against the government. And she's been um, <clears throat> trying to uh, not really overthrow the government, but try to change it. And um, I guess uh, the Chinese government saw her as a traitor and charged her with treason. Because uh, over there in China, they don't have free speech like they do here in America. But it seems that even here in America, free speech is being threatened. So we need to protect the sanctity of free speech before we end up as bad as China. Now, I'm not putting down China. There's, there's viewers uh, that watch my show from China. So I want to say, you know, I love I love everyone in the world, you know. Um, <clears throat> and I hope and pray for China if they can, um, <clears throat> if they can revolution. Revolution. Um, the peaceful revolution. Uh, next story. This is weird. Vontae Davis. What? Oh my god. What is all this mumbo jumbo? <laughs> okay. This is a weird story here. How am I on time? Okay. 25. Really good. This is weird. What? I keep going down and it won't let me. It's going to what is going on here? Oh, I'm gonna click the X. No? It's. Okay, something weird is going on here. Vontae Davis quits the Bills. Okay, uh, he retired at halftime of Lost vs. Chargers. Now, isn't that illegal? I mean, you're on contract. I was getting an itchy throat. I hate it. Best combat for itchy throat is water. So, I don't get it. He's under contract. Which means he could probably be sued. <clears throat> by the team for doing that <clears throat> for quitting on halftime he could probably either be sued possibly even thrown in jail now I say the word jail not prison because jail is a less uh, punishment uh, in jail for something like this he could probably be doing at least a month or something max um, but prison uh, that's like for a felony that's like five years and up, you know. So there is a difference between jail and prison. Jail is where it's not that bad, less time. Prison is a hard time. So I doubt he'll go to prison for that, but he may be sued. And that's almost as bad, man. Take all your paycheck. Next story, Mark. Ah, I hate this loading. Mark. This is a hard name to say. Mark Benioff, B-E-N-I-O-F-F, -F, is the latest tech billionaire to buy a news outlet. Which news outlet? <laughs> um, he's paying Meredith $190 million in cash for Time Magazine. Whoa, he's buying Time Magazine? That's pretty crazy. Time Magazine is one of the biggest uh, magazines out there. And this guy's buying it, man, for 100 
for $190 million in cash. Man, I'm telling you, you know, the power these people have just blows my mind, man. <clears throat> you know, they're really buying spots on the moon. They're really buying real estate on the moon. And they really want to buy real estate on Mars. <clears throat> <clears throat> and I recently heard a story of a new plasma uh, engine. I don't know how it works. It's like a reverse engineering. It's, um, what's that word? Nuclear fusion. Um, possibly uh, um, cold fusion mixed with nuclear fusion and cold fusion and all these other components. And it all makes this, um, this mix of um, light speed travel. And they said with that we could get to Mars... And I think they said a month and a half. That's pretty crazy. Because with our current speed and technology, it takes us around, what is it, six to eight months to get to Mars? I mean, which is still not that bad. But when you're in space, it is. It deteriorates your body and everything. That's why they have to cryogenically freeze themselves if they're sending humans. Because if you don't cryogenically freeze yourself... It could deteriorate your body so much that it could uh, you could die from it, or you're just going to be very, very um, paralyzed. <clears throat> so, um, I don't think we have the technology to cryogenically freeze ourselves right now. We're at, I'd say, 80%. They want to perfect it to 100 before they start doing it. But, you know, they're always going to take people who are willing to do the 80%. <coughs> <coughs> and it's crazy cryogenics is like you fill yourself in amniotic fluid you know the same liquid that you breathe in as a baby and that's the same liquid I think it's derived from other artificial uh, chemicals <coughs> and they make like a synthetic amniotic fluid and that preserves the body from <coughs> <coughs> being deteriorated while being frozen. Voodoo science, in my opinion. Um, but if used the wrong way, it could be voodoo science. Um, <clears throat> just like human cloning, you know. Um, I'm all in favor of therapeutic cloning, where we, um, you know, um, <clears throat> copy uh, genes for medical research, not to clone people. I don't know why they call it therapeutic cloning, they should give it a different name. Um, but that's what it is. That's what they call it. It's not actually creating copies of humans. It's just creating the copies of the cells of the DNA to be put back in. Kind of like stem cells and all. Embryonic stem cells and all. <clears throat> so, um, I'm in favor of that. The medicinal. But not the, you know, uh, copying humans, you know. <clears throat> So this is crazy. This guy's buying Time Magazine. And there are people buying real estate on the moon and Mars. It's really absurd. And they're really going to start going there soon and actually start building. <coughs> <coughs> okay. And the last story. No, wait. Is it? Two more. Okay. Stephen Colbert. Loading. Challenges Alex Trebek, you know, the guy from Jeopardy, over a copycat beard. This is Alex Trebek's new beard. <coughs> now he said, <coughs> This phlegm. He said that it may not be permanent for the people, uh, the viewers, to vote on whether he should keep it or um, cut off his beard. Um, <coughs> so. I don't know. It seems like I think he's gonna keep it because he sees like a beard. It makes him more uh, what's the word? Dis disquenishable. I don't think that's the word. Distinguishable. No, distinguishable means like um, noticeable. Um, but I, I believe distinguishable. I think means like very high class or something like that. You know. <coughs> so I don't know. <coughs> you know. And Stephen Colbert 
said he grew the beard first, and he's the only. Um, but he's a talk show, Stephen Colbert. This guy, uh, Alex Trebek, is a game show. But you know, I guess just Stephen Colbert is just trying to trying to stay relevant or something. <laughs> now putting down Stephen Colbert, he's funny. Uh, I think he's just you know trying to get his name out there also. And that story: Justin Bieber and Haley Baldwin got their marriage license. Justin Bieber looks so different now. He's grown his hair out. And he just looks so different. He's got too many tattoos on his arms, in my opinion. Um, but not uh, discriminating, you know. Because people have tattoos don't make them bad people. You know, um, <coughs> it, it's, it's art, you know, basically. Me, myself, I never get tattoos. Um, but each to their own, you know. Um, <coughs> and I like how Justin Bieber is trying to clean up his image now. Uh, he used to hang around horrible people, man. I remember he hung around this, uh, uh, two of his friends, and they'd always wear, like, 666 sweaters. And then he'd wear, like, a Marilyn Manson shirt. Justin Bieber wore a Marilyn Manson shirt to a church. And the Marilyn Manson shirt had, like, a three Jesus image that, was like, split, like, morphing, like, shape-shifting. I don't know, weird stuff. Hopefully, Justin Bieber leaves all that blasphemy behind also. So, yeah, Bieber's done some weird, crazy, evil, blasphemous things. But it seems he's trying to, you know, better himself. So, got to give him the credit for that at least. So, now we'll go ahead and get into the topic of the day. The topic of the day. That was very fascinating what happened. Very fascinating. And I just hope and pray that Jesus and God makes these apparitions stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. Um, like a drum roll, crescendoing into uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, an eruption of apparitions, basically. I hope and pray that these... Uh, apparitions, you know, that they just get greater and greater. And uh, mark my words, we are going to see <clears throat> the most unimaginable kinds of signs that we cannot even think of. You know, I once asked God, wow, it would be cool if you could show a giant hand from you coming down from the clouds. And I saw it. That was, I think, 2009 or 10. You know, <clears throat> and then sometimes it doesn't happen all the time, but I asked uh, for a three-second count at night in the sky for a shooting star to pass by. And it doesn't happen all the time, but I'd say around 30 to 40 percent of times it happens, you know. So I really don't do a three-second countdown too much so that I can make sure that it is not coincidental that it is um, an apparition. So, um, the first, um, main piece I want to get to is, um, <clears throat> is a cloud that was moving in Dallas, Texas. Now, it's strange, because I live in El Paso, Texas here, and, um, <clears throat> the Dallas Cowboys played today, and they won, they beat the Giants. Um, and to all Giants fans out there, you know, uh, not really um, choosing sides here, you know. If you like the Giants, that's cool, you know. Um, yeah, I don't like to get in fights about uh, sports, and I don't even like to get in fights in politics and religion. <coughs> <coughs> that's why politics, I don't choose sides. I don't endorse any party. I stay neutral on it. So my fans, so you guys out there watching... Um, um, so you, you, you won't, you won't hate me if I say Republican or Democrat, you know, so I just leave it up in the air. Um, and so this is very interesting because the Dallas Cowboys played today and this happened yesterday and it looked like, like a mothership, um, type of, um, uh, like a saucer, but in a cloud. And it was moving through the sky. 
It's very amazing stuff here. You know. <clears throat> and this is the video right here. It's truly fascinating. What you're about to see. Okay, let me, let me get this, uh, let me get this right here. Okay. So it's moving to the sky. I know it's very hard to see the quality, but it'll pick it up. There it is right there in the center of the screen. It's moving right there in the center. If I tilt the camera, you can see a better better shot there it is in the center and as you can see it is not a cloud though it looks like a cloud it's moving <coughs> it's moving going towards the left of the clouds and it looks like some kind of mothership flying saucer or something but in a cloud form now I don't know what it means because the Cowboys played today, and this happened yesterday in Dallas. I don't know what it means. There it is right there in the center. Amazing, amazing. Truly amazing. Now, the way I see it is, I believe there's always <clears throat> a meaning to all these apparitions. I just don't know what it is with this one. I have to point this one out also. Mysterious face appeared in the sky over the United Arab Emirates. September 12th, this was the day after 9-11. <coughs> and a mysterious face moving across the sky. I think you get a bigger view here. You see the eye on the top and the nose and the mouth? I believe that's God there. I wish it was more obvious. I wish it was more detailed. But, you know, this is the best we got. This is the best we got here. So, um... God's showing his face to the... The Arabs. <coughs> in the United Arab Emirates. That's by Dubai over there. You know, they had the man-made islands. So... Very fascinating. Very fascinating. <coughs> and, um, let's see here. Let's uh, pull up the, the bird. The bald eagle that was just chilling. Just chilling on top of the... On top of the fire truck on the 9-11 ceremony, man. This is fascinating stuff here. Let's see, bald eagle on 9-11. Fire truck, I believe it was. Firefighters. Okay, um... This is amazing. It's funny, but in a good way, you know. <coughs> Let's see. So, you see the guy here talking. And then he points uh, his camera to to the, the 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 fire truck ladder, and look, there's a bald eagle. You can clearly see it's a bald eagle. It's got the white uh, head, neck, and you know, I mean, I know you can't see the baldness of the eagle too much, but yes, that is a bald eagle there, and it's strange. It's strange because. There's a flag that's uh, being held up in the center. And it was over the, the what's it called? 
over a bridge. I'm not sure which bridge it was, but I believe this was in New York. Um, <clears throat> in, in Manhattan, I believe. Um, there's a flag right there. You see it? Not that flag, but there was this other flag in the middle. You see two flags there, but the first flag you see was the one that was being held uh, over the bridge. Right there, that's the flag. And that's the second flag. How weird is that? <clears throat> a bald eagle is just chilling there. For about five, ten minutes and flew off. <clears throat> That is a clear sign from God here. <clears throat> <clears throat> Not just a sign comforting the the people who lost um, their relatives and friends on 9-11, but also as a message that Jesus is returning. You know, God has had enough of the evil people, man. He's about to end it very soon. And, um... I hate it when atheists say, oh, why did God allow it all for so long? You know, <clears throat> um, God placed the power in people and governments, and they're the ones that messed up. So they're the ones accountable. Um, not talking about, about our government, uh, America, you know. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of good people in our government. I'd say maybe a 5-10%, but we've already uh, weeded them out. We've already got rid of the bad people. And we keep trying to perfect our government. So I know a lot of people like to talk against the government. Um, <clears throat> but that could be seen as treason. That could be seen as trying to brainwash people into promoting terrorism. So I'm against that. I'm against uh, too much of talking against the government. Because <clears throat> that is kind of like terrorist talk there. Um, but at the same time. Um, we should have our freedom of speech and we should say let us change the government let us reform it let us get the bad people out keep the good people in basically so um, <clears throat> um, you know that's that's my take on it you know is um, there's very few uh, people that are bad in the government you know and um, <clears throat> we just need to keep perfecting everything now, we can never get everything fully perfect, but, you know, we do our best to try to get it as perfect as possible. Uh, so now we'll go ahead and get into the EVP segments. EVP stands for Electronic Voice Phenomenon. We pick up the ghosts on the audio recorders on the app called EVP Voice. This is the icon here. This is the icon. ADV. I know it looks kind of blurry, but it says um, EVP voice is is what it says. <coughs> now it actually says EVP voice DD. I don't know what the DD stands for, um, <clears throat> but that's the name that it's downloaded as. But when you go to the download page, um, you see it uh, spelled as ADV. So, um, this I recommend as the best app for the Android. Best app for the iPhone is Ghost Kong. Uh, so, um, Ghost Kong, you know, is for the iPhone. So, now we'll go ahead and get um, these apps um, set up. You gotta mute all the volume because the way it works is it plays back what it hears. So, um, if it plays back what it's hearing, it's just going to keep repeating and it'll, it'll, throw off, it'll, it'll throw off the EVP. So, you have to have the cell phones muted. And then you click the microphone icon. And then you click the red button to record. And it's just like magic. These ghosts are always here speaking. And... <coughs> To let Christians know this is not occultism, I always pray to God every time I do this. Um, we're, we are looking for angels of the Holy Spirit here. If evil ghosts, demons, want to say whatever they want to say, we brush that to the side and we are looking for the angels of God speaking here, you know. 
we start the needles up the haystacks here. And a lot of times it can be seen as mumble jumbo. Like, does this stuff all make sense? <clears throat> it's very hard because a lot of stuff rhymes with other words. And it's, it's like a puzzle to try to uh, piece together what it's saying. So, uh, it's like in parables sometimes. And um, I've received predictions that have happened through this. So, you know. <clears throat> I know a part when in the Bible Jesus said, do not... Do not um, <clears throat> do not talk to ghosts. Only demons whisper, or something like that. That supposedly God doesn't want us contacting the dead and all that. Well, the way I see it is, uh, God doesn't want us contacting the dead for evil intentions. And what do I mean by that? Um, well, getting certain information um, that is sacred um, <clears throat> that could be used to harm people. That's one of the ways to uh, do it the wrong way. Uh, but if we're trying to um, save people's lives here, if we're trying to um, <clears throat> see the future, basically, um, there's nothing wrong with it when we do it for God. So you always got to have God in this, you know. If you don't have God, you don't have anything. Here we go. Okay, now, the words, I saw that word ego there. I have no ego, man. You know, I am not conceited. I am very humble, man, you know. If I become rich, <coughs> God willing, I will use this money to bring Jesus return. I'll use it to help people, man. I don't want to be spurging with a mansion. That's not me, man. Okay, so, the first one says, Cormorant. C O R M O R A N T Cormorant. What does that rhyme with? I don't know. Next word is defiled. The word defile is like in, uh, immorality. And then the word ego. I have no ego, man. We need to be humble, as humble as possible. We need to be as humble as Jesus, man. Um, skeleton mating. So I don't know what this means here. Um, something immoral is coming. Uh, the uh, conceited uh, uh, celebrities with their ego. And skeleton mating. I don't know what that means. Uh, skeleton. I have no idea. Well, skeleton. I did go to a, a graveyard yesterday to ghost hunt. And I'll probably post that in the next video. Of the ghost, the ghost orbs I recorded. Very fascinating. Uh, and I will even break down to the video and uh, zoom in and all that fancy stuff. So you can clearly see that they are not dust particles and that they are not insects moving around. Okay, this next EVP says... Oh my god, I completely forgot to... Uh, no, I have the thing plugged in. The battery's about to go out. I have it plugged in. It's just this thing, it gets loose, man. 15% we should be good to finish this show. 
Oh, man. Okay, so next EVP says punctuate or punctate. P U N C T A T E. That means like to puncture. Then it says are behind you. Notice when it said that, I looked behind and be like, I don't see anything. I don't see no ghosts here. <clears throat> I wish I could see angels of the Holy Spirit. Um, <clears throat> then the next word tracker, status, expected, snip, refusal. So something's being punctured and it's behind me. Something's being tracked of a status and expected to snip, refusal. Well, the word snip uh, sounds like ship, and I do order a lot of stuff online. So that's probably what it could be saying here, this, uh, tracking the shipment orders, the status, expecting, yep. It's this talking about ordering stuff online. <coughs> uh, <coughs> instead of online, <coughs> maybe it could be something else. Um, delivery, basically. Something being delivered. I don't know, strange. Very strange. Okay, we'll go ahead and do two more. Go, here we go. Yeah. I hate coming home every single day, being so tired, man. I hate it. You know, I work hard, man. I'm telling you. Okay, next story is I mean, next story. <laughs> Next EVP, here we go. In this phone, we got the words living champaka. Champaka. What does that rhyme with? Um, champaka. C H A M P A C A. Champaka. What's that one animal that's um, a chupacabra? There we go. <coughs> <coughs> this is funny. Champaka rhymes with chupacabra. Is it talking about that? It's saying living like an animal. Could be talking about the chupacabra. Uh, the chupacabra, okay, uh, living, uh, champaka, latched, hampered, renewing, odds, medica, learned, unguis. U-N-G-U-I-S, that sounds French. Unguis, okay, I have no idea what that means. So something is the living animals being latched, okay, so they're being caged in. Hampered, I guess like hampered down, being held down, renewing, uh, this animal's being renewing of odds and medical treatment. This is weird here. Um, this is talking about, could this be guinea pigs of human cloning here? Uh, for, you know, like Rael says, a human cloning is eternal life. Which we as Christians, we know that um, that that, um, <clears throat> that is not eternal life. Our souls being uh, resurrected into superhuman bodies in heaven. That is eternal life. Uh, Rael doesn't believe in soul. They're atheists, you know. 
So could that be what it's talking about here of a med medical treatment? Learned and I have no idea what anguish means. It rhymes with anguish. Uh, the animals are probably being tortured, so I don't know this is weird stuff. That sounds like it could be, could be talking about cloning there and half human, half animal hybrids right there. Um, this one has the words chanter, suffer, field, thotter, numbed. So something's being chanted, like we are summoning signs from God. We are chanting upon God uh, for him to bring forth his signs to the world. Um, for all the evil people, I mean, <clears throat> for all the people out there to repent, and all the people out there that are suffering, and then it says, uh, it says, chanter, suffer,